What's up guys, Wildcat and I'm back with another tutorial. You may notice that the audio quality is pretty damn good right now. That's because with all the YouTube money that I made off my Overwatch tutorial, thanks to you guys watching my video, I got over a thousand views on that and I was able to raise a dollar. And with that dollar I went and bought a Snickers bar and while I was buying the Snickers bar I saw this microphone and went ahead and picked it up with my real money for my real job. Um, but that's besides the point. We're going to go ahead and get into the tutorial here on the new map Sanctuary. Uh, this is a little bit past due, but I wanted to make sure I spent some time and got some really damn good tips. Uh, Sanctuary, what it's referring to is there was a strip joint in Las Vegas known as the Sanctuary. And as you can see, this is clearly this is clearly Vegas. Uh, there's a lot of lights. It's very well lit. Uh, a lot of traffic going through right now. And you can just see all the beautiful architecture and all the fancy, fancy casinos. A lot of people inside playing slots, craps. Master of God, in fact, he's going to go ahead and jump in here and probably play some slots. As you can see, right there is the Bellagio. You can tell because of those. I don't know what those are, but that's clearly the Bellagio. And uh, right here, here's the C flag. There's the B flag. There's the A flag. The callouts for these on this map is the Hepatitis C flag, the Hepatitis B flag, and the AIDS flag. Because, as you know, when you go to Vegas... You're coming home with one of the three. I mean, am I right? Uh, I think I'm right. Uh, a good spot to defend the C flag that I've found is what you're going to want to do is you're going to stand right up here. You want to jump on top of this fountain, and then you're going to go right here. And, uh, yeah, you're just going to look right at it. What you're going to do is you're just going to go prone, uh, prone out, lay down, and just look about right there. And uh, that ought to do you some good and ought to, ought to help your team out as much as possible. Um, a quick jump spot, another area where you can defend uh, the sea flag is right over here. What you're going to do is you're going to jump up here. And uh, you can actually make it onto this ladder and get up onto that ledge. All you're going to do is a simple strafe jump, just like this. Okay, guys, we came to the next part of the tutorial here. We're over here by this fucking tree right here. And uh, as you can see, this tree is symbolizing sex. Um, right here, there's the ball sack. There is the shaft of the male's penis as it goes in between the woman's legs. And there, right there, you know what that is. Yeah, that's the vagina, ladies and gentlemen. Over here, we also have these three little things right here. And you may be wondering, what is that? Is the water squirting out of them? Uh, this is actually a bidet. And uh, for those of you who don't know what a bidet is, basically what it is, it's European. And uh, after you take a shit in the toilet, it'll squirt water up into your asshole to clean out all the poop and fecal matter. And uh, if you need further clarification on that and you need to see some pictures, just make sure you get on Google uh, get on Google Images and search squirting into ass or anal squirting or uh, big black cocks, and you should find it no problem. So uh, let's go ahead and move along. Okay, guys, I got another really good line of sight here. Um, this mountain over here is very frequented. There's a lot of people who like to sit up there with their Type 95 and heartbeat sensors because they're virgins and have nothing better to do with their life. So what you're going to do, do is you want to get, get right here and you want to use this cross. You're just going to scope out, and you're going to see the couch-humping virgins over there. And you're just going to pick them off one by one. And it should be no problem with that line of sight, and hopefully that helps you out. Um, just leave a comment if it did, and if you need any help on uh, how to how to locate the spot or how to get up there. Uh, it's just a simple jump right up onto there, and then you go down, and then you look through the cross. So that ought to help you out. And it's right by the AIDS flag, so you can go ahead and jump on that if there's anybody defending that, too. Moving along. All right, guys, we've stumbled on to the next part of this. Uh, this right here is actually one of the strip clubs. This is Sanctuary itself. This is what the strip club is called. This is called Sanctuary. As you see, there's a pretty freaking sweet titty right there. We are currently looking at the inside of the titty. Uh, if you want to go out here, you can get a good look at the breasts. Uh, <clears throat> right there. See, it's a big boob on top of this building. Uh, just to let you know that this is, in fact, the strip joint. As you can see, uh, strippers got a little bit carried away there. But here's some of the stripping poles, and here's some of the booths. Uh, right here, in fact, is the private booth, and, uh, you know, if you're, you're feeling one of the stripper ladies, you want to take her back there, and, well, I mean, you can imagine the wild times back in there, but yes, this is, in fact, the strip club sanctuary, so just to give a further clarification on what this is, uh, there's many places to sit, and right here, uh, that right there is, I have no clue what that is, we're not even going to worry about that, because that is just, what is that? All right, guys, over here we are at the Hepatitis B flag, and as you know, Hepatitis B can be very dangerous. Uh, if you have not had your shots, please go talk to your doctor and do so. Um, but we're going to look at a way to capture this flag here because it's kind of out in the open, kind of difficult, but I have a really good spot for you guys. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run over here, okay? And then you got to do a little jump right here. you got to jump onto this bench, 
Okay, and then you gotta jump over there. You gotta kind of jump, crouch, and land on this bench. Okay, and then you're gonna jump onto here. All right, just like this. And then right here, you kind of gotta look both ways before crossing the street. Run, jump over here, and then you're gonna lay prone, Security. lay prone, and then get right here. And uh, right here is a really good spot to capture it. So just make sure you go around on top of the benches over there, and uh, that ought to help you out when capturing the B flag. So let's just move along to the next tip. Okay guys, as I did point out earlier, this is Vegas, and uh, just a little proof for you here, right here, uh, just some signs to let you know what's going on uh, and what you can go see while you're in Vegas. And right here it says there's a shop, you know, for all your souvenir shopping, uh, Dave Chappelle, uh, there's a Dave Chappelle show, I believe it's just right down that way, and then uh, there right there, the Mo Nastery, the Mo Nastery, and basically what that is, is it's kind of a whorehouse, it's basically where you can go and you can get your wee wee touched, tickled and wiggled, and uh, right there's the sign for it, so just head down that way for a good time, alright, thanks guys. Alright guys, I got an easter egg for this map that I just want to show you here really quickly. Um, as you can see, there's a statue here of a man who's very disappointed, and as you can tell, it's because he is lacking a penis wiener. He currently does not have a penis wiener, so it is our job to give him a big old schlong. So what we're going to do is we're going to get right up, right up in the uh, dirty bit, and we're going to give him a penis wiener. And as you can see, he kind of perks up a little. He gets his penis wiener. He's definitely happy. Uh, but we can't just let him have it the entire time because there's other people who need penis wieners. So we're going to take it from him. And then we're going to sprint sprint our tiny little ass off. We're going to go around here, go back through the strip joint. Uh, make sure to tip the strippers if you, if you see any in here. And then you're going to go right over here, and here's another disappointed man lacking a penis wiener. So once again, we're going to jump up here, give him a penis wiener, and bam, just like that. As soon as you do that, guys, what, what's going to happen is now you're going to have this thing show up right here. Uh, as you can see, it's in the, it's left bumper to use it. It is called a tacitile insertion. And what a tacitile insertion does is uh, when you die, you respawn by the tacitile insertion. And just to prove it, I'm going to go ahead and jump up here and jump off the cliff in between the flags. 360. Bam, guys, what did I tell you? The tacitile insertion is gone, and I have respawned where it was. Uh, so that's a pretty sweet Easter egg, and it can really help you out in some sticky situations if you need, uh, you know, you're in a crowd th full of enemies and you can't kill them all in one life, you need to put down your tacitile insertion, and uh, you'll be good to go as soon as you respawn. So hopefully that helps you out. Uh, make sure to try it out a couple times in private match, because I promise it does work. And uh, as always, like, favorite, and subscribe.